Murray. An American cameraman covering the Ebola outbreak in Liberia for NBC News is the latest U.S. citizen stricken with the deadly virus. Ashoka Mukpu will be flown home to the U.S. for treatment. As the outbreak continues to rage, the government response both in Africa and the U.S. has been slow and questionable. The disease has already killed more than 3,000 people in Africa, and according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, there could be as many as 1.4 million cases of Ebola by January. Save the Children reports that Ebola is spreading at the rate of five new cases an hour in Sierra Leone. The chief of the United Nations Ebola mission told the London Telegraph that the international community has been a bit late to respond to the epidemic. He also said it's unlikely but possible the Ebola could mutate and become airborne. But other experts say there's no evidence that's ever happened with viruses like Ebola. But the disease can spread in other ways, in the U.S. and around the world, through travel and other means. Health officials are investigating how many people Thomas Eric Duncan might have infected. Duncan is the first ever confirmed case of Ebola on American soil. A Dallas emergency room nurse sent Duncan home despite showing symptoms and admitting he had traveled from West Africa. Duncan's nephew called the CDC after he was turned away from the hospital. I was terrified, scared, worried. The CDC has issued a nationwide alert to all hospitals in the U.S. on how to appropriately respond to possible cases of the deadly virus. But experts are confident that U.S. medical procedures will keep Ebola from running wild here. The only fatal part of it may be the guy who was, whose treatment was delayed, but it's not likely to, uh, to, to result in anything else that is, uh, you know, that's catastrophic or fatal. Duncan's family is quarantined under armed guard in their Dallas apartment. They cannot come out. Uh, they are not even allowed to come on the porch. Meanwhile, CBN's Operation Blessing remains on the ground in Liberia, providing supplies and working with area churches to teach people about prevention and treatment. Charlene Aaron, CBN News.